Eric Paschal is signed on a two-way contract with the Minnesota Timberwolves. After playing for the Utah Jazz last season, having the least amount of minutes played in his career, his short three-season career, and also only averaging six points per game, which his minutes and points per game have gone down in each of his three seasons. So his rookie year, I think you may remember, I believe he was on all-rookie first team with the Golden State Warriors, and he averaged like 13 points a game. And there were legitimate talks at the beginning of the year of maybe this guy wins rookie of the year. And then his second season, his minutes dropped by 10 minutes per game. And he only averaged nine points. Then it fell to six. And now he's going on to the Timberwolves on a two-way contract. I don't know how this guy's on a two-way contract. First of all, the rule used to be that you could only be on a two-way contract for three years, for your first three years in the league. This is his fourth, fourth year in the league. So I don't know if they changed it to four because this also happened with, I believe, Brandon Goodwin. I think that's who it happened with. And I believe it happened with one other player too, but I'm not quite sure and I'm not remembering off the top of my head. Uh, but there's a couple instances like this where I don't know how they get a two-way contract when they're not in their first three seasons. So let me know if you guys know if the NBA made a change to that rule or what. But his minutes are probably going to go down even more because – this team has a lot of big guys. They have Jaden McDaniels, who might not even start because he plays power forward. And Carl Anthony Towns is getting bumped up to power forward next season. And Jaden McDaniels can't just slide to center because Rudy Gobert is going to be a center. And they also have Nas Reed. Like, they got a pretty big roster. They got a lot of guys that are going to play those positions. So, I don't know if I see Eric Paschal getting too many minutes. He didn't even get a lot of minutes with the Jazz last season really did not play much at all when I went and watched the Jazz play the Lakers in person. He just didn't play that much. And I don't know, like, the the signing is good for the Timberwolves. He's a good player to sign on a two-way contract. Actually, a great player to get on a two-way contract. But unless someone gets injured, when are you going to ever play this guy? And why is it going to ever be worth it? I just don't see it being worth it unless someone does get injured, which you don't want to happen. But, like... I don't know why Eric Pascal would sign this deal because I feel like someone else would have offered him a two-way contract and he could have gotten more run because I don't see him getting a ton of playing time at all with the Timberwolves, especially with the Timberwolves trying to be competitive. And I think Anthony Edwards is going to probably have MVP level year. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, though, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all. See you guys all later in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one, and peace out, my friends. Bye.